Yes. I'm a big girl now. You I'm a big girl now. Are, you big... <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. And we are vlogging this week. It is Sunday, September 19th. Um, it's about 1, 1.10. I've just been doing some little chores here and there around the house. And y'all already know, what do we do on Sundays? We go visit the parentals and the dogs. So let's get out of the house. We're gonna go over there, see them. I need to take the trash out. Um, and who knows what the week may hold for us. I tried to vlog last week and I just wasn't feeling it. So we're gonna do it this week for sure. Okay, before I forget, give y'all a little outfit of the day. My mirror is dirty. Anyways, just got a little orange t-shirt from Zara, some denim shorts from Zara. I, I love this little waistband, y'all see like it. It has a little 90 scrunch look. And then I have these little Nike mules. They just slide in, slide off. Um, absolutely love these. I got them from Nordstrom's Rack. I'm um, by far nowhere close to being like a sneakerhead, but um, you know, some days you just want to be comfy and sandals just aren't going to cut it. So yeah, just scoop these up. Um, and that's it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I haven't really updated you all in a while about Aspen. Um, so over the last year plus, you know, Aspen's getting older. He just had his 12th birthday last week and um or two weeks ago really and you know just with age like anybody <laughs> you know your health starts to decline so i don't remember if y'all remember it was a blog like maybe last yeah it was definitely last summer um around june of last summer um aspen was like having these sporadic moments of um tinkling on himself just well tinkling on himself just peeing in the house like when he wasn't supposed to be so I took him to the vet and it really never kind of came up with anything you know um but we ended up doing all this blood work and blah 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 and they said they did a senior panel and they said nothing was wrong with him so I was like mm, okay you know and then he just kind of stopped doing the peeing on himself so I I don't know I, I still never really figured that out but he had also been coughing for a long time like and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and every time I would bring him to the vet the dang on vet was telling me he had allergies and I'm like you like you know if this is an allergy that's making him cough like this because he would just literally in the middle of the night have a cough fit you know and like it would be like to the point where he would be like hacking like trying to spit something out like <laughs> you know like hacking hacking and I was like no this is an allergy so I took him to a different vet the um other day and I've actually kind of skipped fast forward in this process but so no 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 I took him so I was going to this other other vet called Thrive and they were the ones that really didn't give me like any answers they're supposed to be like an affordable vet and they're the one that did their senior panel or whatever and they they didn't come back with anything so i took him back to his original vet and um she did some some blood work on him and i had brought attention to the cough to her as well and she was the one that was like it's allergies or whatever but from the blood work that she did she did um, let me know that Aspen is in early stages of real failure. I probably found this out a couple of months ago. And I was like, okay, so this is why he's like always having to, to go pee. Like, remember y'all, I was having to wake up in the middle of the night a lot of times to take Aspen out and da da da. You know, and I was just thinking it was like old age. Like, and he just couldn't hold his bladder. But according to the blood work, he's in early stages of renal failure. Um, and it's nothing, it, there's, it's not reversible. Um, so for that, we had to like really just change up his diet, get him on some senior foods and some other things, right? So that has been better. Um, 
but y'all know Esmond doesn't too much live with me anymore so seeing if he has to go pee in the middle of the night hasn't been something that I'm like really privy to like when he has been with me he was with me last week all of last week actually and we really didn't have those issues so I'm like okay you know may maybe just the diet change and you know whatever else we've been doing really has worked for that um so that's a plus but then um I found a lump the other day. Um, he always had this soft tissue lump, not always. For the past maybe year and a half, two years, he's had this very soft tissue lump on his underbelly. And um, I was like, mm, you know, this is soft. And I was, you know, my uncle is very um, versed in just like agriculture and things like that and he deals with like a lot of animals but like goats and stuff he's nowhere near like a veterinarian or whatever but I just had him like feel it one day and he um he was like oh that's just you know fatty tissue you know it's probably it's probably nothing so you know I just and it never grew and like it didn't hurt him or anything like that so I never was truly too con concerned about it because I've seen it on other dogs or whatever but then month or so ago I don't even know um Aspen just popped up with this other lump like on his I don't know if dogs have hips but like right above his like back left hind leg it's this hard lump and it's like it's probably about that big y'all and so I was like okay no this one is concerning because I had just saw him like a few days before that and I'm always, y'all know, Aspen's always on me and I'm always filling them up. So I know when, you know, something just randomly pops up. So, you know, a few days later, I'm like, where did this come from? So I made a doctor's appointment for that. And um, so when I went to the vet, and this is back to his, the vet that told him, you know, he had the allergies and uh, <clears throat> the renal failure. Took him there and I was like, okay, we need to figure out what this lump bears. And, you know, I told her about the other lump. I was like, but this one is more concerning because it's it's hard and it just popped up like overnight. So um, that is just it's it's a tumor, and um, but it's not cancerous, you know. Like, but you know, so we did the blood work, found out that it's it is a tumor, but it's not cancerous, and you know, she just wants me to keep a watch on it. You know, just make sure that it, it doesn't like keep growing and things like that and blah blah blah. And that one doesn't hurt him either. Um, but then I was like, we also need to figure out what is going on with this hacking because she gave me um, she gave me some medicine, like a cough suppressant or whatever, and she had given me something else. And I was like, this this stuff isn't it's not working. You know, like. Is it supposed to be curing the cough? Because she thought it was kennel cough at first. And I was like, it can't be kennel cough if Denver not coughing. Because, can, because kennel cough is contagious. And Aspen is never around other dogs. Not like, ne never really. I can, I can say never. He's never around other dogs unless like we're out walking, you know, in the park and he bypasses. But never around another dog enough to be getting kennel cough and if he had the kennel cough Denver should have had the kennel cough so I really had to put my foot down because she was still talking that allergy mess and I was like nah sis this, that's not what it is so she did more testing or whatever and the same time I found out about what the tumor was she came back and told me Aspen has um, bronchitis so I was like it was like almost a relief but of course just like damn because I, he's been coughing like this forever it feels like like and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and I'm mad that I wasn't like more persistent about it before um, so my baby has bronchitis <sighs> so he has I have to get him um, like either one I can give him this other type of pill that is supposed to just help with you know whatever and then of course the, the coughing medicine as well but Aspen is the worst pill taker like he there's there's no trick that you can tell me that's gonna make Aspen take this pill like I can't put it in the pill pockets you know like 
he sniffs it all and he doesn't like that stuff like i really have to give him something that he doesn't normally get like i had to give him <laughs> i had to give it to him with a, a piece of pizza like pizza hut pizza the other day for him just to take it like i lifted up the cheese and i put the and i put the two pills <laughs> on top of the bread and i put the cheese back down and he like aspen's a fatty so he loves anything that's carbs so he took it that way but i'm like i can't constantly like try to give him the pill like that so i was telling the doctor i was like what other options do i have to like give him this medication and she was like well you can get him an, an inhaler i was like an inhaler you know she was like yeah and it's actually better than giving him the pill because you know it goes straight to the lungs instead of you know like going through his bloodstream and blah 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 but it's so expensive y'all it's it's almost three hundred dollars for the inhaler itself and then of course i have to get the mouthpiece that you know goes for dogs because a dog isn't going to inhale so it's like some little mouth i guess it's kind of like what you get the, for kids um you know you just put it over his face and then you leave it there for like 10 15 seconds you know and just you know let it do what it do let him breathe it in um that that the mouthpiece alone is like sixty dollars and then the inhaler is almost like three hundred dollars um, I haven't I haven't ordered it yet because one I still have pills left that you know I'm just gonna have to force down his throat somehow and two I don't have um, pet insurance for Aspen or Denver which is like at this point now it's uh, yeah so I'm gonna have to pay for the medicine out of pocket and I've just been like trying to shop around to see um, who has it for a reasonable price so if y'all know anywhere that you can get like um, medication for pets on the low low please comment down below hit my dm send me an email whatever just put aspen in the subject line and i will read it immediately <laughs> uh, but yeah this whole pet parent life is like getting real um, like when dogs, they, when they age, they, they really do be aging and it gets expensive. And it's like 12 years. I've had Aspen for 12 years. When I got Aspen, I looked up his life expectancy um, and it said 15 years. And he was six, six weeks old exactly when I got him. So I've had him his whole lifetime. Um, and I, I made him I made him promise. I was like, Pinky promise. <laughs> Literally talking to a puppy. Like you have to live for 15 years minimum. Minimum. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, whatever I need to do to keep that promise going. Like I gotta do my part and you have to do your part because Lord I can't I just I can't take it right now. Um but anyways, so with the bronchitis, Aspen really should be living with me in the apartment and not so much outside because just you know, with bronchitis like 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 a human being bronchitis is going to be um affected by your your surroundings you know the outside and all of that and allergies does affect it and, and all of that stuff so he really should be inside in fresh clean air you know with a humidifier or something but it's just so difficult for me to have one separate him in Denver because Denver don't like it at the apartment. I've told y'all that time and time again. She is not a fan. Um, and so to have to keep them apart is like, mm. and then I just don't really want my baby cooped up in the apartment while I'm out and about working, you know, because some days I'm really, I really, I'm gone like all day. So it's it's really tough and my stepdaddy won't let them live in the house <laughs> like he was just so adamant about at the new house they were gonna be outside dogs you know like he just dogs belong outside um so i mean it's not like they you know of course they're still very much well taken care of they do sleep in the house at night um their, their beds are in the laundry room and whatnot but majority of the day they're you know outside in the backyard and they love they love it out there you know it's, it's nice it's beautiful you know they got doggy neighbors and all kind of stuff they really just sleep majority of the day under the under the covered patio y'all know they have the big covered patio at the parents house so it's not like there's any cruel treatment going on around here so it just really tugs at my heart because i'm just like i don't know how to i mean i know how but I mean, dogs have feelings, and I don't want to just separate them and then leave Denver over there by herself. You know, it's just tough.
so it, with all of that that just makes me like I'm just like oh I'm so ready to like just buy a house so you know I can just bring him bring him home and or at least have a backyard if I even have to bring Denver with me because Denver is technically my mother's dog you know at least she'll have a backyard and not be looking at me crazy cramped up in a, in a little thousand square foot apartment all day long <laughs> that was a really long story just to update y'all on what's going on with my my dog life here my <laughs> my dog mom lifestyle but i hadn't updated y'all so i just wanted to let y'all know that it's going on it's a little stressful but it's going on um yeah anyways i'm like five minutes from the parents house so let's go maybe they have some breakfast for me oh speaking of breakfast i'm not even going to do a whole nother long story time right now but i am mentally in the mindset of ready to get back to doing the keto lifestyle for real because i am just tired of being the f word or real overweight because nobody would look at me and just be like hey you fat you know i i, I can't even say that about myself but i am overweight you know in uh I can't really, you know, fit the clothes like I want to fit the clothes. And, you know, I just want to have a certain look. So, how many years ago was 2018? How many every years ago that was? Um, I did keto and it <laughs> snatched, honey, okay? Face. I was I was giving collarbone. Like, I was giving ball head just gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, I want, I want it back. So, <laughs> I'm going to just... We're going to talk a little bit more about that maybe later and, you know, just through this week. Like, I started off last week real, like, like just kind of sliding my way back into it, just being really more conscious and purposeful about the things that I'm putting in my body. Um, and, yeah, we'll see if I can maintain that this week again and just keep going forward, y'all. Because we got a trip coming up, my last trip for the year, and I want to really lose, like, 10 solid pounds before I go on that trip. Um, and that trip is October 6th, so like two or so weeks away, y'all. So we got some work to do. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the parentals, and look who's here to greet me. Hi, big girl. Oh, Denver, you, I'm going to have to get my car really detailed. Why are you wet, Den? Denver. Why are you wet, wet? Hey, Junior. Oh, what y'all bought some sod? Where you putting this at? By the patio. Yeah. There's already grass back there. Go back there and look, you'll see. Huh. Well, happy Sunday. Uh, Aspen! Spinny Winnie. Oh, I got your butter one. Hi, Mom. Hi, Denver, not my shorts. How are you? You're trying to kill me. Me? This was your bad idea. You should have thought about this before you like it. Don't buy dirt. Hmm. Hi, Spin Spin. How are you? Hi, my little baby. Let me feel your lump. Okay, it didn't get no bigger. Oh, okay. So, stepdaddy is talking about putting the grass here. It looks good. And um, they just got the patio tiled this week or last, whatever. They just got it done. This is my first time seeing it really completed in person. What? It looks good, but I was telling mom that... I'm not really feeling the color of the walls with this tile and then the shiplack ceiling in the brick. I think it's a lot of color going on now and I feel like the house needs to be painted more of a, uh, a beigey color, but you know, it's not my house. <laughs> they got out here tiled too. I really love this tile, but I still feel the same way that it I mean I don't know it's just it's just a lot of different stuff going on right y'all know what I mean but either way Tyler looks good 
it's pretty it's pretty all right i've been told to um change my clothes and come dig up some dirt so here we go <laughs> All right, we had to make an emergency nail shop stop. We gotta get a pedicure. My um, toenail, my big toe just cracked, y'all. Like my nail on the side, it always, what's today? Oh, they closed at six, Oh, perfect. I thought they closed at five and I was gonna be real ghetto. Thank you. All right, all the colors. Let's fix this toe, but I was trying to wait for another two weeks before I left for vacation. But, my big toe said, oh no. This is kind of like a cute blue, right? What do y'all think? Or, keep it light, curly pink. I mean, fall is officially like two days away now. Uh, I'm gonna try this one. I thought my polish had just peeled off, but my toenail was actually cracked right there. Good morning, good people. Top of the morning, Monday morning here. Um, it's 7 08 a.m. I am headed to the gym. I'll be at the gym for about an hour like usual then i have groceries to pick up this morning we'll see if that actually gets done because i have showings at 10 a.m and it usually takes me about 45 minutes to get to that side of houston where i'm going to be showing um houses at today so might have to pick up the groceries a little bit later I have this face mask on my face that's why i look like i'm dripping or something um it's a hydrating face mask i figured i'll just put that on while i go work out um i set my alarm this morning to actually wake up to make sure that i got to my class on time because i went to bed kind of late i didn't really go to sleep till maybe almost midnight um so and usually i don't set my alarm i just wake up naturally but I was not I was not close to being ready to get up so it kind of made me mad I was like no but of course now I'm up and I'm the morning person so it's fine but I feel like I probably would have slept in to almost eight o'clock today if I didn't set that alarm um, but yeah so I got on the scale this morning to see how much we're starting off the week at oh my gosh look at look at this little red look at oh yeah but yeah, I don't know what I was saying before uh, the red streaks of clouds distracted me. But happy Monday. Let's get the day started. All right. Workout is complete. I am not gonna go get my groceries, but hopefully I remember to pick them up after I do my showings because I need to go home, make my tea, 
boil some eggs, take a shower, get dressed, and leave the house on time, really. If I have to go get my groceries, you know, who knows how long it's going to take for H-E-B to bring them out, and then I'm going to have to unpack them, and so the good thing about H-E-B curbside, or probably any grocery store curbside, is even though you have a pickup window, if you miss your pickup window, they hold your groceries for you all day. If you miss a complete day, they put them back. So I just have to remember when I'm coming back home to stop at H-E-B and get the groceries. Whew, but today was a good workout, y'all. It's a great workout. All right, little outfit of the day for y'all. Shirt, shorts, shoes. Zara, Zara. I think these came from Norton Rack, if I remember correctly. So. Let's go. We're running. All right, y'all. We are out the house. I did boil my eggs. Uh -oh. So this is breakfast. I have my tea. And I have my infused water. It's infused just with lemons. Um, and yeah, we're running about seven minutes late. It just be so hard, like those after the gym, like hurry up and shower and get out the house. It's so tough sometimes, but that's okay. <laughs> We're making it. We are making it. I don't have on that. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm lying. I do have on some mascara and eyeliner, and then I um, brushed up my eyebrows a little bit. But that's it. Nothing on the face. I could probably put on a little lip gloss. <laughs> just a little something look a little spruced up right and I need to button this sleeve I was able to button this one but I couldn't get this one done so maybe my client will help me out <laughs> Wears me out sometimes. Houston traffic is never nice. So even if it's not even traffic to traffic, it just just driving for long periods of time. We'll do it too. So groceries um, and a nap, and then I'll do some right, laundry later. You are awesome. Thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Hi y'all. Let's go. For my mother. Girls like um, Brit say hi. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, happy Tuesday, people. Just leaving the gym. Hot works. Did cycle and bands today. One of the the other gym members was asking me how I like the bands workout and oh, oh I need my purse. I love it, but I think it's the hardest workout that they have. Like, whew, or maybe it's just because I just don't work my upper body out enough. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, on my phone. I don't know if it's hot or just my storage is full. It just keeps turning off. And I don't, I want to get a new vlog camera, but I don't want a vlog camera because I don't want to have to carry it around. Um, but anyways, what's on our schedule for today? 7.30 in the morning and i have a zoom call at 10 a.m with my cpa you know just trying to make plans for next year you know what it just cut off again i'm really thinking it's probably my storage um but yeah zoom call with my cpa i need to do laundry because it's laundry and it needs to all right y'all it is 9 45 now i took a shower shampooed my hair braided my hair down um it's really all i've pretty much done <laughs> that took a long time um now making my tea and i'm going to and i'm boiling some eggs for breakfast um i don't know i have that zoom meeting in 14 minutes so i gotta do that um laundry then i am going to um Go run a few errands. But yeah, 
It's yeah, pretty I much can't an easy day. I'm hot either. It's just like Texas, like we can't catch it. It's just always something. Girl. Always something. I am praying. When I say praying, I am praying that this is our last hurricane season on the Gulf Coast. Like, really? Where are you trying um, to go? Dallas. <laughs> So to we're Dallas? we're starting to, but it's more than just like switching to an S corp. Now we have to figure out what's your reasonable compensation. We probably need to set up um, a reimbursement plan, or what they call an accountable plan. Um, so as an S corp, there are certain things that you could do as an LLC that without an accountable plan you can't do. So home office deductions, but like. The business is reimbursing Alexia for certain expenses. And so okay. we need to figure out what those expenses cost, mm -hmm. right? So the business can pay you back, but it's still a deduction, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's not income to you based on certain factors. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say it's probably... Um, All right, y'all. So done with my Zoom meeting with Sierra, CPA. Doing a little tax planning, trying to just get my life figured out for really next year. Um, now I'm going to go run to the post office. I just packaged up, on my finger. I just packaged up um, a cabin crew planner. So we're going to drop that off, stop and get gift cards to put in those thank you cards, mail them off, and then come back home, do laundry. Um, then I have just some reading and documentation to do for real estate, so. Yeah. Almost forgot, almost forgot outfit of the day. I got this, this Kier gave to me. Y'all know my friend Kier. Uh, I think her mother gave it to her because it didn't fit her and then it didn't fit Kier, so Kier gave it to me. So I have no idea where it came from. I was just like, oh, this will be comfortable to throw on today, so. In Walgreens, like, should I get at home or should I get like TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods? And home Goods. I feel like maybe I should do Home Goods because there's not nearly as many at home stores as you can find a Home Goods store, right? Right. Yeah, good thinking team. I just don't like that they're pink, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. So, I'm gonna get these. Put them in the envelopes, mail them off. And actually, since I'm out and about in the streets, I'm gonna go up to the Verizon store to find out more about um, switching my account to a business account. I forgot that I wanted to do that. All right, we're on a roll. We're at Verizon. I'm gonna talk about switching my personal account to a business account and probably upgrade this iPhone. <laughs> since it's iPhone upgrade time and I need more storage, clearly. Okay, we are officially a, ow, my finger. <laughs> I keep hurting my hand today, y'all. Officially have transferred my consumer account to a business account with Verizon. Chick. Um, that took a lot longer than I intended. I ended up having to just get on the phone with them and, you know, they had to do all this, whatever. So, done. Now I'm going to do laundry. Laundry. And I have so much of it. Um and watch um i forgot 911 coming back on last night so i'm gonna watch a little bit of that while i do some laundry and do some computer work y'all that's really it for today if anything exciting happens if anything exciting happens i'll let y'all know but it's probably not going to i told a lie y'all we are out the house <laughs> Mother called. She's at Home Goods. She wants to find some fall pillows. And I said, hmm, let me come to Home Goods and find some fall pillows too. <laughs> Yo, bad habits. But mother daughter bonding is it's always great, regardless of if it's shopping. <laughs> oh my back. He's got enough yellow in it. <clears throat> so you need one more of these to balance it out. Alright. I just put this one in the front as the accent piece. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's cute. That's cute. Look at that. That oh, looks good. There it is. How much money is this? So I'm tempted to get more like fall decor. 
I got pillows and throws, but I'm not even gonna do it because Christmas is coming. And y'all, that's really my holiday. I'm gonna have to get a Christmas tree and everything. So I'm gonna chill. I'm getting too folly. And then um, go all out for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So just some, some pillows and throws to kind of give a little more rid of the fall vibe. And or should I, I could at least get like one of these things to go on my door, right? No, because ain't nobody welcome. <laughs> well, y'all, I bought this ottoman because it matches my um, chair. It's the same exact fabric. And it's just really pretty, right? But there's literally no space for it. Like, it's very big. So, I'm gonna have to store this till we buy a house. Did you break the bank? Y'all, my pillows are missing. <laughs> So I bought black, yellow, and then I bought this really cute, like, fall plaid one to kind of give it, you know, just a little extra color. And they weren't in a bag. So I just called Home Goods. She was like, oh, they're still here. They had charged me for one. So, I, they, you know, we were kind of there chatting, chitter-chatting. So I was looking at my receipt. I was like, hmm. I've been charged for six pillows. I bought these four. Um, I bought a pillow for somebody else and then there's the other one. So I figured the other one was like one of the plaid ones. So I kindly called them. Make sure don't nobody take my pillow. I'm coming back to get it tomorrow. <laughs> but um, I think I like these better than my old ones. I wasn't really in love with my old pillows. So I like the, I like the yellow. Oh yeah, and then I bought this black throw blanket too. Anyways, it's nine o'clock. I'm feeling sleepy. So uh I'm about to go to bed. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Apple Music done played uh Crazy in Your Love. Beyonce, that took me straight back to what year of college was I? Was that freshman year? Freshman or sophomore year? And I was just sitting here reminiscing on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Isn't it crazy how just one song can like flood your mind with things that happened? at that time period like wowzers and this is very random my um my ex-boyfriend from college around that time today's his birthday anyways so we just finished our workout we feel good we feel great we're gonna go shower eat our boiled eggs i think i'm gonna have some chai tea this morning i haven't had any chai tea in a few days um that's the one that i got from mm, i might want to get my key so i can open up the gate I'm over here running my mouth, talking to y'all, and I forgot to press the button. Anyways, um, Chanel's um, quality tea. I had ordered chai from her, so it's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm also thinking I might want to make me an uh, acai. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go get some fresh berries to put in my acai bowl, but I ain't got none. So, we're just going to have to use frozen. Um, that's all the updates for now. Happy Wednesday. All right, y'all. We're finally going to get in this kitchen, get some breakfast and tea started. That tea kettle we need. It's a little one. Remember the peach turmeric chai? We have a little bit of that this morning. I don't know how well this will really go with my acai bowl that I'm going to make, but whatever. Whatever. Left over water. I should have cleaned this out a little bit better. There's still leftover tea from yesterday. But all right, get that going. Okay, let's get started. So these just come like in little packets like this. And we are going to put this in 
the blender. I got this new Ninja when I moved here. And it's really cool because it has like a smoothie function. Did I not put the towels in the washing machine? Hold on, y'all. My All brain. Right. So we have our acai in there. I'm going to throw a little bit of spinach in there as well. Just a little bit. Mm, this spinach spill smells really good. And the um, I need to open this. This has been sitting. It needs a good shaker up, or as it says, stir and enjoy. So let me mix my almond butter back to its mixture state. I don't know if that's good that it's separating. I guess so, right? If it's all natural ingredients, I guess it would separate. Oh my god, it's tough. <laughs> okay, stir this joker. Woo! I'm gonna put a little, oh, that's more than I wanted to put. I'm gonna put some of that in there, and then just a dribble of water. We don't need a lot of water. Just a little dribble. Because you still, you want the bowl, I know it is. You want the bowl to be thick. The actual acai mixture, right? It needs to be thick. Press bowl. I'm not gonna do milk. But I am going to now prepare my bowl. All right. So this is our base. fresh berries. Like the fresh berries would have been so much better. But that's okay. <laughs> and voila. Acai bowl. Presentation's not that great, but it's gonna do what needs to be done, okay? Y'all. Yeah. Parents buy more land. Uh, don't, don't, don't question it. We just go with it. 2.2 acres. Yeah, that's the road right here. Now we're going to the ditch. From ditch, here road, ditch, to. And, um, we clear off the front 20 feet of here. every lot. 2.2 acres, y'all. Why did they just buy a house? I'm, I'm making sure I'm I don't know. Okay. They literally closed on a house? I, I don't even think a month later. They came and bought the land. They closed on the land next month. So, in a few more years, I guess they'll be building a custom home out here 
I'm gonna make sure that I'm a part of every detail because they're gonna have to leave it to somebody. <laughs> That's horrible, but it's the truth. <laughs> so from the corner. Denver, get up here. Denver. <laughs> Let's see she's going to lay in that water. Get up here. <sighs> Look at that. Look. Oh, Denver. Denver, you going to ride on the roof if you don't stop playing. <laughs> wow. All of this. So you said, so, oh, so this creek goes through the land? Huh? But how deep into the land? But how? It's, oh, it's at the edge. See, this is where it starts. Okay. From here, there. Get up here. Now. Come on, up. Denver, you're such a troublemaker. Oh, you stuck now? Denver, look at you. I should have left you in the car. Good day, good people. Happy Thursday. Just went to Excellence, picked up some breakfast. It's pretty much um, keto friendly. Got some um, steak tips and eggs. I just felt like treating myself to breakfast this morning. Um, now we're headed back home. My face is all done up clearly early in the morning, it's 10 o'clock, because I had some Zoom things to do early this morning, and I wanted to look professional. So, <laughs> when I took off all the clothes that I had on and then put just like back on some loungewear when got me this breakfast. So now, I'm headed back to the house, have another Zoom thing to do. Um, can I go this way? Yes. And then um, I have some showings to do a little later today. Um, and that's about it, y'all. So, welcome to Thursday. Let's make it, why does car come in like this? Let's make it a great Thursday. Y'all wanna know what the most uncomfortable thing is? Talking to a financial advisor about where you want to be, where you currently are, and knowing that you have naughty spending habits. That is me. That is me. I just got off the the internet, <laughs> the webcam, whatever, talking to financial advisor that I've used in the past, but kind of, kind of, you know, fell off of using. And now I'm like trying to get back to it. And she's like, Alexia. How are your spending habits? Are they any better? You know, like, am I going to be surprised when I go through all your bank statements, etc.? And I'm like, no, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all, no, but yeah. So, anyways, I'm feeling nappish because I, I got up early this morning, y'all, like at five. Um, and it's noon now, so. But I have to go show some houses at three and I've submitted some offers, real estate offers this week that I have not heard back on. Well, really just like yesterday and the day before. So I need to check up on that. And then I have to upload all these documents to the financial advisor's um, website or whatever. So we got some work to do. <laughs> okay, we're out the house. We're headed about 50 minutes away to go show one property. And um, then I have to take Mahogany to go get cleaned. Like, she's so dusty from being out there. Um, that property that the parentals bought yesterday, she collected all the dust. And then, of course, just from the dogs riding with me periodically, there's doggy here in the car. So, I'm gonna go get her cleaned out. Um, after I shut the house. Good Friday morning, good people. It's Friday? Yeah. It's Friday night. And I feel like it's <laughs> All right, y'all. I need to kind of clean up a bit. Every time, you know, you do your makeup, 
it's just like boom like <laughs> a bomb of makeup went off everywhere especially when you're in a rush and you just really don't take the time to put things back where they go so i'm gonna just do a light tidy up real quick and then we're still on this iphone stuff y'all my phone is just um, I think I told y'all the other day, like, I had accidentally completely reset my phone. I don't even know if I told y'all that, but I did that. Um, whatever day that was that I went over to Mom's house and we were looking at the, um, the new lot and all of that, that day, um, just multitasking, pressing buttons and not paying attention to what I was really doing. I had accidentally just went too far and reset my whole dang phone, which it's fine now. Um, you know, thank God for iCloud backup, Gmail backup, all the backups. So I still had everything except, well, no, yeah, I still pretty much had everything. And then, you know, iOS 15 update came out. You know, and if y'all are Android people, I'm sorry. It's probably don't have nothing to do with y'all. Um, so, iOS 15 came out, and I did that update. But I still need more storage space. Like, you know, I just, I need it. So, I'm saying all of this to say that... <laughs> I am going to go to Verizon this morning and um, see if I can update, I mean, upgrade my phone in store because I had been trying to do it online and it keeps giving me a, a error message and that's why I called them the other day and then ended up accidentally deleting and then they were like well if you pre-order it you won't get the phone until the 29th of October which is well over a month from now and I'm going on a trip um, I leave on the 5th of October and I really wanted to just have the new phone for that because I want to have the storage space to you know take all the flicks and picks that I want so, anyways, I'm going to go and try to attempt to get a new phone today. Um, iPhone has released a 512 gig and a 1 terabyte. They might have had 512 last time and I just didn't get it because who would who would have thunk that 256 gigabytes of space ain't enough. But because I do this so much... Um, and I don't like offload these videos to like another, another storage space. It just takes up space on my phone and I don't want to hear nothing about that. It's just my process. I don't, I don't be wanting to move things. So yeah, that's that. So see, look, all that little chitter chatting. I done cleaned up all the makeup off the counter. And we're good to go. So I'm about to, um, no gym this morning. Body just wasn't feeling it. You know, she just wasn't feeling it. So uh, shower, go to the Verizon store. Then I might have to show a client a house. Because we're still looking for a house. <laughs> Sad and annoyed. I should have just ordered the freaking phone the other day <laughs> on the phone with the lady. The stores don't even have the higher gigs, and that's the whole point of even... The stores don't even have the higher gigs, and that's the whole point of wanting to upgrade my phone so I can get the higher gigs. And technically, I'm doing the early upgrade, so I need to pay like $130 or something to be able to be upgrade eligible. Um, and so, you know, he was trying to order it for me just now in store, and he's like, well to do it you'd have to turn your phone in and then wait for the other one to come in i'm like i've never had these issues before i don't under i don't understand what's going on <laughs> i don't understand 
and then I was going to go to the Apple store to do it because I was like, why didn't I just think about going directly to the Apple store? And now because I've switched to a business account, Apple can't process it. So it's like I just kind of screwed myself all week long. Like I should have just upgraded first and then switched over to the business account because I could have just went to the Apple store and, you know, they can process Verizon and who, whatever carrier you have as a regular consumer but now since i'm a business account i can't do it <laughs> no i can do it but they want me to pay full price for the phone all right a hundred fifteen hundred dollars and who's doing that not i not me <laughs> well now that that disappointment has happened i still need to go to um i guess i could just i really could go oh i, I could go to walgreens walgreens is right there I need some downy, some deodorant, lotion. Yeah, that's it. Downy, deodorant, lotion. I don't have to go to H-E-B for that. Um, and I kind of wanted to go get my car cleaned this morning while I'm out. But I don't know. My client hasn't texted me back to see if she wants to go look at that house or not. So I have some time to be willy-nilly in the streets right now all right so mahogany is finally gonna get her detailing y'all it took literally i think it was maybe 45 minutes and she just got out the wash now she's gonna go over there they're gonna detail her real good but i'm gonna hop across the street here and go get a little foot massage because it's a whole bunch of people in there i don't feel like sitting there all stuffy with a mask on so i'm gonna go do something else Okay, good people, we scooped up mahogany. She's nice and clean. She's shining. My feet is almost slipping. Um, and yeah, now we're headed home. We're headed home. It is Friday evening and I am out the house, headed to this um, restaurant that I've been wanting to go to literally since it opened. I've had like four different reservations over the past four or so months. And finally, tonight, we are sticking with the reservation. Um, as I think I told y'all, yesterday was um, my best friend's birthday. And we are going to dinner. To The restaurant's called 13. Um, it's just a new little swanky restaurant here in Houston. It's owned by James Harden, or his name is attached to it somehow, whatever, whatever. I could care less about that. The food will just be looking good. Your girl is going for the food. Um, I have on the same shirt that I wore earlier this week because I really didn't get like a really good wear in it, you know. I mean, uh, y'all are moving. Yeah, so people speeding. I'm going about 75. People be speeding. Um, anyways, so I put this cute little shirt on and some high waist um, tan pants that I have. Give me a very nice elongated leg look because my legs really aren't that long. I'm just um anyways y'all so i'll give y'all a few i'll give y'all a full view of the outfit later i was rushing out of the house um because you know i was rushing i had somebody schedule a consultation um last minute today right at 5 30 and i should have been leaving the house at 5 30. so while i was consulting with her on the phone i was like doing my makeup and blah 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 Kiara was like, you can't be more than 15 minutes late. I'm like, all right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, did a little, a little light beat. Just a little something, y'all, nothing, nothing too much. Um, got a little jewelry going. I wanted to wear one more necklace, but I was being indecisive about it, so I just didn't even bother. And then this cute little clutch that I bought from Zara a few weeks ago. And I was like, oh, this is this is perfect because my, sh my shoes that I have on are brown. So, y'all will see later. Anyways, let me, let me pay attention to the room. Yeah, I know. No, I'm Kiki, say hi. I'm trying to think, should I do the strip or the real bar? An ugly Kevin. Is the real bar pretty good? Yeah. Appetizers. Are you going to vlog this? Crab uh, fries. Somebody's fried chicken. And lobster mac and cheese and shrimp egg rolls. I don't think no shrimp in there. It's just lobster and mac. Nobody needs a shrimp. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure that menu said shrimp, but either way. 
You want one money? I'm taking one. How much money? Oh, Fifteen dollars. Ten dollars? Yeah, my my pocket's not stretched that far. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yo, I'm vlogging, but I got lamb chops. Oh, like, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah. Your steak's still not here, though. No. They, they here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Good people. It's Saturday now, and when I say evening, it's 737. I haven't talked to y'all all day because I've done pretty much nothing all day. I laid in bed, and I binge-watched Blood and Water. On Netflix, I did a little bit of work from the computer, but I was just like, I don't really feel like doing much of anything. But now, I'm actually about to leave the house. I'm gonna go get my ears pierced, y'all. So, I mean, I've had, you know, just the double lobe piercing. I don't remember how old I was when I got my second piercing, but I've had double lobe piercings. And I've always wanted, like, I just love the extravagant, full ear on jewelry so i'm gonna start that process so i'm gonna get something on this ear and something on this ear i don't know if i'm gonna do my little tragus or just like i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do but um that's what we're doing oh and then what do i have on i just have on some biker shorts fancy shoes these little green biker shorts from zara i have them in every color that they release this shirt, it says Sex in the City. This is from Zara as well. And then I just have on um, these white combat boots. I think these are Steve Madden. I bought them last year. So it's officially fall. <laughs> and it's still not cold. So this this is my fall look. Anyways, let's go. Tattoo and body piercing. Why are you and the kiki. <laughs> I'm going to warn it. Yes, I guess. Oh, okay. Do our peers just keep reading for me? There. Kiara. Oh, God. It's cute, girl. <laughs> Good job. That one the head? I told you. Oh, yours is good because your lobes kind of sit higher. Mm -hmm. If they all feel like that, I'll be okay. They won't. Nope. They won't. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> I'm shaking the camera. Stop making me laugh. But it's not bad. You did so good. Look at the little big girl. That's crazy. Oh, y'all are hot tonight. This is ridiculous. I'm breathing. 
<laughs> I'm sure you have people pass out. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Shut up. From okay. this? Well, I mean, they'll they'll stop breathing. Like they'll oh, just not think just about nervous it. Just nervous. Yeah. yeah. And so that's why I kind of repeat it so much, yeah. just in case you do forget. But no, yeah, because you hold your breath just from like. Mm -hmm. You once yeah, you feel it, you are holding yeah. your breath. Now, this oh, is the test. <laughs> She's about to go down. Back to the trachea. Look at that big girl in that needle. You still got to go up. It's not that bad. Seeing how you do the conch is definitely going to let me know what I'm doing. Oh, Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a cute. Look at this. It's a cute. And we still have this one up here. There's only one more. Oh, right. two, two more. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. We but we have to come back and get more. more. This isn't it. Boom. We're good. We got to do the whole year. Mm-hmm. But this is a good start. Are we gonna get the bar? I'm not getting that, but that shit hurts. I know, so I'm asking you. That's about the only thing I'm not getting that. I'll get the other mm -hmm. pieces, but not that. This is the conch. The conch. The conch is gonna be this middle part right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And breathe out. Oh, you did great. That one that felt the most pressure. Really? Like my ear's warm now. Really? All the blood rushing to your ear. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Oh, that one's cute. Okay. Okay. How many you got? I don't know. That top oh, that's oh, just the yes. top ear. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I'm like, what all did we get? I forgot about that one. That's the one you came here for. Yeah. Alright. Sounds easy. Woo! Mm. Alright. Yes, yeah, conch. I need the conch. I feel like a big girl. You did good! <laughs> I literally thought you were going to be dramatic. I mean, I would already think that. Crazy. If they went so crowded. <laughs> right? I literally thought this was going to be a whole scene. Kaylee, I thought you were in for a show. She did exceptionally well. It really isn't that bad, though, honestly. You just feel it, the it pressure. It is just a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's not really so much pain. We'll see tomorrow. with the kids. Oh, my goodness. We're gonna have to do a part two. Kayla, we coming back. Okay, so part two, yeah, change of the jewelry, and then we're gonna get another piercing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I gotta do the other ear. I would say, yeah, you gotta do the other ear. So part two, changing the jewelry. Loading. And adding more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a kid, it's a kid, it's a kid, it's a kid. So now you can have a baby. It's the same. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't we laugh? Girl, bye. <laughs> do what I did, no medication. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you did a fabulous girl. Yeah. Yes. I'm a big girl now. You I'm a big girl now. Are, I'm you a big are. Good, glorious, sunshine. <laughs> Sunday morning, y'all. How are we doing? I know what you think. We asking for a friend. Um feeling blessed this mountain y'all guess where i'm going guess just, just guess i'm going to church <laughs> i have not been to church in a long time a long 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 Ooh, long time i think the last time i went to church physical in the house of the lord the brick building church 
the four walls of the church either January of 2020 or maybe possibly February um yeah I mean you know just like a lot of people but I don't know it had been on my heart for the past couple of really months because it's come up in conversations between you know my friend groups and things like that and I wasn't the only one I definitely wasn't the only one just and I'm sure just like many of you all COVID blah 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 and then you just get comfortable and then online service and blah 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 but um my friend Brittany that came over last week uh y'all don't know about that anyways or was that this week that was this week that's on this wall <laughs> um we were talking about it and she was like Lex you haven't been back to church and I was like no she's like not the same Lex that literally never missed a Sunday for for years y'all years obviously before I ever started flying and stuff but there was a period of time where like I volunteered at church like I was very active at church and I, she just made she didn't make me feel bad but she was like I can't believe you ain't been back and I was like yeah I can't believe I haven't been back either so sorry about this lighting y'all but the sun the sun is shining this moment um but anyways so last night it, or not even last night but just sometime yesterday something just tapped me on my shoulder and say go to church tomorrow girl just get up and go to church so here I am getting up and going to church and then you know I, I have some properties to show after that or whatever my client asked me if we could go a little earlier and I was like you know what no I'm gonna go to church and then I'll meet you you know at whatever time so yeah we're going to church and that's the way that we're gonna end off the vlog I hope you know what, maybe, maybe I'll show y'all a little praise and worship. I went a little late, as always. Because um, I was, like, nervous getting dressed for church, y'all. Isn't that weird? Like, what do you wear to church? <laughs> and I didn't even show y'all what I have on. But I just have on this cute little blouse and um, some black, um, some, some black pants. I don't know. And some booties. So, um, yeah. Let's go to church, y'all. Here's the outfit, y'all. Just pants, boots. My little waist beads are out. <laughs> Earrings, daddy, necklace. Simple, right? And a beat face. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm back home. I'm gonna end out the vlog here. Oh, update y'all on my piercings. <laughs> they actually feel fine. Um. They're not, they don't hurt if like I'm not bothering. Like I, I feel no difference between pre-pierced and currently pierced. Um, now this one is fine, a little tender. These of course are a lot more sore if I'm like touching them. Like I accidentally hit my ear earlier and I was like, oh, that hurt. Um, and then same with this side as well. I slept fine last night. I'm a side sleeper. So that's, I think I told y'all that's why I didn't get the other ones on this side yet because I need to be able to sleep on like one side at least. So, and I toss and turn in my sleep as well. So I tossed and turned last night and I ended up on this side and it was hurting. But you know, your sleep are like, Ugh. so I came a little conscious. I was like, oh yeah, I need to turn back on the other side. But other than that, all good. Clean them twice a day with the antibacterial soap. And that's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching the vlog. Um, it was a good week in the life, I think. It was enjoyable. What did y'all think? Comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed the most. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.